Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're talking about 20 foot braking putts. I'm joined by Simon Cooper, co-owner of Precision Golf. Do check their videos out on YouTube. They're doing everything that you need to learn about in custom fitting. So I say, do go and check their channel out. So today, Simon, 20 feet. Mm. You hit a shot with a seven iron, eight iron, nine iron sometimes to yeah. 20 feet and you've hit a good shot. Yep, and now absolutely. you want to try to make use of that. Mm. I think a lot of the time people don't appreciate that 20 feet with any golf club in their bag is yeah, a good yeah. distance away, right? Sounds a lot, but yeah, not at yeah. all. Yeah, yeah. So we've got a 20 foot left to right putt. Left to right putts, four right handers are usually the worst out of the mm. two putts because obviously the ball's getting away from us immediately and, and invariably you see people under read left to righters yeah. and then you see them drag it up the slope as they're standing over it. We've demonstrated the kind of break we've got going on here with these balls on the ground. Give us some insights into what you think about when you're hitting 20 foot putts. So it's, I think what I like to do is to, to see where I think the ball's gonna be at its highest point. It, it, I can't, the way I, put, I like to almost draw a line on the green and, and put along that line, but looking at the, the amount of slope, uphill, downhill, the kind of pace I've got to hit it at. And then, I mean, so much, so much of putting is inexact to feel. And, and your pace dictates what the ball's gonna do, but trying to kind of get a picture, if I can get a clear picture in my head of the, the amount of break the ball's gonna, gonna have, the pace I wanna hit it, then I'm just trying to roll it along that line. Yep. It sounds ridiculously simplistic and it really isn't. Well, but, I think, I, I think there, there is no shortcut to good mm. putting. I mean, once you've got good mechanics, if hopefully at home, then I'm gonna cover this on some future chat, uh, YouTube uh, videos. Once you've got some good mechanics with your, with your stroke, I think it, it really does come to how diligent that you practice and how much you practice the, the variety of different, different putts that we've hit. As I say, we, we've got this line in here, but of, as we all know, there is a multitude of lines that this, this ball can yeah. make. This is one that's sort of dying into the slope. The speed of the greens is sort of 10, 10 12, mm. 13 we would tend to want to make it die into the hole, really, yeah, yeah. because you don't want to be faced with the six, eight footer <laughs> coming back, certainly from 20 feet anyway. And, and that again is something that when you, when you play with amateur golfers that are sort of mid to high handicappers and they hit it this, this close, they sort of whack it at the hole because their eyes are only for holding it. They're never, mm. There's never a vision of what's my next chess play, what's my next move if I don't make it. Don't leave yourself four, five, six feet. You've just hit a great iron shot and you left yourself with 20 yeah. feet. So do bear that in mind when you're choosing the speed for this type of putt. I'll move these balls out of the way, Simon. Let's get you in there and, and see you hit, hit this putt. So I'm going to pop that, pop that ball there. That's where the tee was. Now, of course, as we know, Simon, you don't aim the putt where you think the break point is because mm. If you, if you think that the high point of the putt is here and you, and you aim the putter face here, by the time the ball's got from here to here, the ball will have already come down too low. So if you're looking to make the ball hit this point, we're going to have to have made sure that the putter face is aiming a bit more up here. Again, different for everyone. Yeah, yeah. I think once you've got a feel for the, the shape of the putt, you tend to aim your putter where you think it needs to be relative to that break point rather than going sometimes guys won't actually pick a perfect point where they're aiming putter they're, they're trying to feel it in which is what you intimated i think it's a bit like you know, a lot of people when they're looking at the swing they pick a swing position to try the ball's moving through that point sure. just like the club's moving through it. so that is to remember it's got to go through that line when it, on a breaking putt from a from a direction not from the start point so correct, correct. so we're looking to see this ball come around the outside just of that around ball. the outside are, yeah. are you do you feel happy with that that, that point it, it feels high doesn't it feel yeah it feels like that's that feels like that's the point i want the ball to be crossing through on going outside so let's move that down a touch yeah. perfect so yeah so i'm looking at saying it's going to be coming in it's going to be breaking in from this sort of line yeah so i've got to start the ball around about here yeah so so your so your your aim will be along this line here yeah if we extrapolate that out all of a sudden that's where Simon's aiming yep. to make his ball track here. Yep. Okay. These greens are absolutely pure, by the way. Absolutely yeah, so, but he's trying pure. To say there's no excuses for this. No, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> I've overhit it massively. Yeah. 
and a, and a little bit of pull in there as well. And, but I think I think that's the right hander in us. Yeah, you the don't right you don't want it to get away low. Yeah, have yeah, another go. Have another it's go. so was, easy to feel like you aim it too straight, and Absolutely then all of a sudden, it. The, when so. the ball is going missing low side on left to righter, the ball's always collecting pace and always going to roll slightly further away for you. There you go. That's a better putt. There you go. So yeah, arguably mm. a touch too high that yeah. break point for us touch too high so we'll we'll lower that down and then obviously that will make me look good when I roll through there and I and I hold it <laughs> <laughs> if I at least there's progression on the yeah. other two thank goodness for that yeah. so oh. Oh. cut <laughs> we don't do editing here Simon we no, don't do not editing at all. here <laughs> not at all just got to brave it out yeah. yeah so a little bit higher a little bit higher Nice roll. Yeah, so decent amount of break on that. Mm. You have another go there. Yeah, that was quite interesting actually watching those ones is the, the break at the hole is less. It yeah. doesn't keep coming round. So it's actually it the, feels the, like the, it's kind of the, It feels like it, it gets plenty here and then yeah. at this last third doesn't it's really a touch, do much. It's a touch more. Again, when you're looking on the camera, hopefully you can see that we've got really quite a, a big rise here on the left hand side that mm. when you're standing over the putt yeah. it's pushing the energy onto the toes of yeah. your feet which really affects your sight and vision on the putt mm. it would be interesting if if we if we went up here and stood at this point yeah i mean just come and stand there how much flatter oh yeah yeah, yeah. doesn't yeah, it like feel myself all of a sudden back up but, there. but standing back there because of that rise it's yeah. really changed the way we feel about it so it doesn't surprise us when we're standing back there mm. how much it really affected how we thought about it. So we hit one more putt. We've got some guys coming up behind us here that we don't want to interfere with their game. We're going to watch you roll this one in. So we're going to take a little bit of break out of that and end the show with you knocking it in. Nearly. Almost, but he missed it high side. Thanks so much to Simon for joining me here. Hopefully you guys have realized that this is good coaching. I'll see you on the next one.